okay? All the examples that we have seen earlier on are electrolysis using inert electrodes. So inert electrodes like platinum and graphite, basically your carbon. Okay, they do not take part in reactions. Okay, so now we are going to look at another factor, which is your nature of electrodes use. Okay, so it, in this one, I meant to say inert. There are inert electrodes like carbon, they only provide a surface. Okay, they do not take part in the reaction. However, active electrodes. What are some examples of active electrodes? These are copper and silver. Any metals other than platinum are considered active. Okay, so please remember copper, silver, even though they are low in the metal reactivity series, okay, they are considered active electrode when you pass electricity through it. Okay, so when I have an active electrode, the A node will ionize. Ultimate most important thing, A node will ionize. Please remember this. Okay, so when your A node ionizes, it loses mass or it decreases in size and the cathode will gain mass. Okay, so using an example, let's look at this picture over here. Okay, so now I have a normal electrolytic setup. Okay, but in this electrolytic setup, right, instead of using inner electrodes, my electrodes are copper. So look at it, copper and copper. Okay, copper electrodes, these are reactive electrodes. They will take part, the A node will ionize. Okay, so looking at your battery again, this is the short end. This whole part is negative. Okay, let's do the same method, negative cations get attracted it's the cathode cations get attracted reduction takes place at the cathode and reduction is gain electrons okay so in this example i have copper 2 sulfate solution what are the cations inside cu2 plus h plus copper to sulfate solution okay and what are the opposite at your anode side yeah this is the anode positive and ions get attracted anode and ox so oxidation oxidation is loose Okay, so what are the N ions that get attracted? Your SO4 2 minus and your OH minus. Okay, idea is the same up to this point. Okay, but please remember what did I say? A node dissolve because it is a reactive electrode, the A node dissolve. So what else is happening here is my Cu forms Cu2 plus okay because the A node will dissolve very important here A node will ionize okay so the A node which is your copper metal it will ionize to form Cu2 plus okay so it's better if we don't write this yeah okay so when your A node dissolve the Cu from Cu2 plus so Cu enters the solution so that's actually Cu2 plus from the solution Okay, so let's look at the equations that's happening. My copper dissolve, it loses electrons, right? This part is positive, the right side is positive, it will gain the electrons to become neutral. Okay, so this part is actually losing the electrons. Okay, so oxidation is loose, right? The, the reaction that's happening is not the circling of the anions that's inside. This one is the very important reaction that's happening, your A node dissolving. Okay, so the ions that's inside is really just my, there's in fact no ions, I'm not interested in that. Okay, the ionic equation that's happening is this copper from the electrode dissolves. 
because I am using an active electrode. Please remember this. Okay, so your products are just copper two ions. Okay, and your observation because your A node dissolve. So the A node becomes smaller. Okay, so looking at these cations that are inside, you have your copper two hydrogen ions. So what will get preferentially discharged is my copper two. Okay, so the ions inside this one you can write Cu2 plus and H plus and it is the one that will get circled. Okay, so my Cu2 plus plus two electrons form Cu right in your state symbol. So the product is copper. The observation of copper, write this down. Red, brown, solid, deposits on cathode. Copper is the only metal that's red brown in color. Gold is gold, silver is silver, the rest are all gray. Okay, so effect on the electrolyte, this one, your electrolyte will remain unchanged. Why will the electrolyte remain unchanged when my copper is being discharged? So this copper that is being preferentially discharged come from two places. Number one, come from the electrolyte. Because my electrolyte, I'm using copper 2 sulfate solution. It can also come from the A node, where your A node dissolve. So the electrolyte remains unchanged because for every mole of Cu2+, that gets discharged at the cathode from electrolyte, the same amount will get dissolved from the anode. So the copper from the electrolyte forms copper metal, but these copper ions will get replaced from the anode. Okay, please remember the most important takeaway point today is if I'm using a active electrode, the A node will dissolve. This is the oxidation reaction that we write where your A node is dissolving.